are monsters. And I think in original movies, I was say with Godzilla Horror, a lot of what was scary about them was the score, the suspense that it built. I would like that we did that back in our horror movies, but they don't scare me as much because they're one of the dimensions to the past as they can have now. And I really would like us to do better justice. Yeah, exactly. Like they're growing up in a world where hostile exists, 
And it's like, is it is, right? And exactly, we, we're all going to sit up here and go, Ugh. but I mean, it's it's there and it's in the public consciousness. So inevitably, something like Frankenstein may not land the same way. But I'm telling you, when Guillermo makes his Frankenstein, he keeps showing the Del Toro, but he's making the Frankenstein eventually. And when he does it, it's going to scare the fans off of everyone in this room. And it's going to be absolutely true to the book, and it's going to be absolutely true to the story, but it's going to scare you. I don't think there's anything inherently unscary about those old stories. I just think it's it's about what what the presentation is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's interesting just to talk about, like you know, raised earlier, a lot of it's about context of society. I think the part of what I think is really interesting to look at for vampires in particular is that when they were created, it was a sense of, oh, I'm afraid of the other. Where's the other? The other is in the darkness. The other's coming to get me. We kind of want to be the other now. I think culturally, we think it's cool to be the other, so we've kind of turned into vampires. Certain franchises have done different ways. I'm not going to name names. I don't want to go there. But ultimately, these a lot of these movies, or these TV shows, these comic books are about, don't you wish you were a vampire? Wouldn't that be cool? And I just don't think it would look that way. And you can look at movies, TV, comics now, and all right, what scares us now? You know, I mean, I think that one of the things that I actually thought was really cool and that it didn't get quite enough credit for, I thought part of what was really interesting about something like Cloverfield was that clearly Cloverfield was a modern day Godzilla in that it's about shaky camera footage and I don't know what's causing this destruction and am I safe? Are people that I love safe? And that it's a fun, goofy movie, but it speaks to modern themes. And I think that that's really interesting. It's ultimately about what sort of, you know, poor should be what are you afraid of through an imaginative lens? And there's a little bit of escapism, so you're having fun, but ultimately you're just speaking to, deep down, what don't you want to have happen? Um, I like what you said about that, because one of the things I Shakespeare in love, but it's Hitchcock in love, you know? And uh, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting in, in preparation for that, I'm going to direct my own black and white movie, and that was Hysterical Psycho, which was essentially Psycho on Acid. And uh, I thought, well, shit, if I can do Psycho on Acid, why can't I, you know, what, if I can do Hitchcock on Acid, why can't I do Hitchcock Presents on Acid? And that's where the whole Moon Lake franchise uh, grew out of. And, uh, yeah, I grew up reading comic books and drawing and uh, making my own with my brother, and uh, so it, it, it just seemed very familiar to me. Um, another specific question, this one for um, Johnson and, and Dave down there. Um, now, Freak Show, you said, kind of from Treadle's line of horror and, and superheroes, and I think you're right. To me, though, what it was really reminiscent of was a movie, an old movie that I still find fucking terrifying, Todd Browning's Freaks, you know, like, it had to have been an influence, right? 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually really interesting how many conversations we've had at this point about one of us, one of us, because it, it happened. Who here has seen Priest? Yeah. Wow, awesome. We have a good panel here. Um, so yeah, Freaks is uh, a, a pretty terrifying old movie that in large part is based around the fact that they used actual circus freaks for this movie, and they were, it, the whole point of it was just kind of getting behind the face, getting behind the deformity and the broken sort of nature of it. Um, that was a touchstone for us in the same way that, uh, that X-Men was. I mean, really, at the end of the day, they're the same thing. You're looking at the idea of people who feel broken and outcast and outsiderish, and who only by having each other, and not just like one other person, but a group of people, do they have any sense of like identity or belonging? Because otherwise, they would just be the other. But by being the other all together, they can have a one of us mentality. Uh, Freaks has this very famous sort of scene where um, one of them is inducted into their freak organization, and they all one by one slowly start chanting, "One of us." One of us, one of us, and it's like, it's just about the most poignant thematic thing you could possibly say about this. I really want somebody to write an X-Men comic where they all do a one of us, um, because it's, it's directly parallel. So when we started, when we were working on Free Show, and every time we would talk about superheroes, we had to talk about a horror thing, and every time we talked about a horror thing, we had to talk about superheroes in order to keep that balance going. It was nice to run into parallels like Free and X-Men, where... I mean, they really are the same thing. Just in one, they happen to be a bunch of people, and in the other one, they don't. Yeah, no, I mean, really, that's the thing. It's, it's, it speaks to the issue of community. The idea of sort of like, you know, a big thing for us was that we were excited about coming from the monster's perspective. We wanted the book to be in. When we open our book, we spend a couple pages with regular people, and we want you to think that these characters, humans, are going to be who we're following. And six pages in, we switch it over, and for the rest of the book, 